Hey there guys. Now, how do you leverage your beliefs into success? Well, how do you leverage your limiting beliefs into success? Now, have you ever had a time where, let's say you're going for a job position and you think, who am I to apply for this or go for a raise or who am I to have that amazing relationship or who am I to feel like I can take my shirt off at the beach? You know, who am I to deserve these things? Now, these are all limiting beliefs that sit within us. However, you can use them to leverage. And I'll give you an example because I have them in my life as well. Like, who am I to come on here, do a video, and to help people out? Who am I to go into a business and go, look, I can help you out with your leadership stuff all the time? Who am I to have a better relationship? Who am I to have better fitness? Who am I to think as myself as a you know, a person who knows something or has knowledge, and it applies all the time. If you've ever had the whole idea of, oh, I don't know enough yet, or I'm not good enough yet, it's all the same stuff. And it, it's very similar or all connected to the imposter syndrome. So, you know, we, uh, we are going for a position, or we're in a position, or we want to be a leader, but we feel like we're not there yet, like we don't know enough yet, or we're not good enough yet, or how can I do that yet? So use this to be able to leverage yourself to actually drive more success. And I'll give you an example of my own life. So let's say I'm working with one of my clients and I'm worried, well, who am I to help them have a better life? So how do I leverage that? How do I make it so I create better results? Well, I ask myself that question. So I go, who am I? Well, how can I create such massive value and give such massive value to this client that it's going to change their life. So what do I do? It pushes me to learn more every day. It pushes me harder to drive more, to understand better, to listen better. And then I look at that belief and I understand where it sits in my life so it doesn't limit me. And it's an idea of, well, the belief is I'm not enough or I have conditions around where I love myself. So then I make sure I'm aware of the belief because that is the first part of it. Then I use it to leverage myself to drive myself and motivate myself but also the most important part is to realize we don't live in that all the time because people do it all the time we will learn something and never put it into action it becomes uh, knowledge rather than wisdom so we're always like oh I don't know enough yet I don't know enough yet so it's important that we still realize it use that and go right I'll just give as much value and knowledge as I possibly can and I'll continue to learn but also at the same time, looking at that aspect of ourself and realizing, wow, no, I do love myself there. I have unconditional love for that element of myself. That allows us to grow. That allows us to drive our motivation. That allows us to give value and create more success in your life. So that's how you use your limiting beliefs to drive better success in your life. I hope that helps. I hope you can become aware and see where they are in your own life. If you're struggling to find out where those limiting beliefs might be, I actually learned an amazing guided meditation for that and I popped it on a website. You can just go to jjhamiltoncoaching.com and you'll find that meditation there and you'll find it very useful. I certainly did. Lots of love to you.